hi all so today in this video we will try to see how to create a task report okay so task report are something like you know like process report you can say process report is there so with the help of process report we can create different types of context to so see if you want to create something based on the processes you can do that based on the tasks that you can do it okay so that all thing we can do so today we will try to see mostly about the processes like all the process we will try to see we will try to create a grid and even if you want to cancel any process so how can we do that okay so for that let's try to see all processes so we, we are just trying to create a process see here there are different types of report types are available here you can create a report based on the process model like all the process data whatever you have or all the processes that you want uh, there so you can uh, do that as well so all the process only particular user okay or you can say like process models like this so I am just trying to take all the processes okay and uh, which folder it should save in so let's try to save into some uh, artifacts here okay fine and now we will try to create our process report is successfully created now let's try to see our so all the processes every process it will list like whatever the process are available so currently in this community i have around 258 processes so all the 258 processes are listed here but you can see only some basic details are available here like name is there status is there and start time is there but we can add much more data in that as well okay so we can add much more data in it so what let's try to add some data you know to add some data you have to go to the edit option after you have gone to the edit option you can you can see like uh, various tabs are available here for example first is the general which is just giving like what is the report id what is the name of the report okay and then the data type is the data type is the most important part like what data you want to show okay for example currently name status and a start time is showing here similarly we can add a new data to it as well like suppose uh, we want some new data but how we will know like what data to actually map in a process right uh, name is there definition is written but what to write here in the first place how we will get to know that so for this purpose uh, you might have uh, let's try to you know like open any uh, process model and there we will see uh, like uh, how can we know like what values to actually map there how we can get any other data so let me try to uh, okay get something like this let's take something like a script task see when we whenever we have uh, some data to map like what to write here we have to know like uh, this report is what this report is based on the processes okay so in appian you get something some domains available here okay so see here uh, some domains are uh, here huh here some domains are available so if you open the rule you can see like these all domains we can you can use inside the uh, expression rules like a bank cons bank okay record type and all these things similarly uh, in the processes as well we can add different domains here let's try to see what all domains are available inside this if i try to see or see much more options are now available pm bank pp bank are there so if you go here P, you can see here pp bank is there it means process properties so let's see what is available in pp bank so we can actually take who is the initiator of the process pp id pp initiator sorry pp bank initiator tells us like who is the initiator of the process currently uh, we are not able to see like who initiated this process just processes are there so th this way we can you know like uh, get to know our definitions okay so these uh, you can say like process property similarly uh, name we can take priority who is this what at what time it was started deadline time zone all these things we can get to know here okay similarly let's try to put one data here like initiator so i will name the display name as initiator now what is the definition of the initiator 
we just now seen that the in name of the uh, initiator is something as pp bang initiator that's how we got to know it now automatically appian will detect the formatting like what things will be shown for the initiator you want to show the username if the username is kind of email id it will show the email id if it is a kind of you can say like just no i just want the simple okay just let it uh, take here as well okay initiator let's try to save it and just save it so now you can see here one more thing is there uh, you can see like different initiators are there my name is coming some other person's names are also coming here okay different persona which has been created in the account with their names are also coming this is the uh, initiator if i click on initiator something you can say here there uh, okay so now different initiator names are coming here similarly we can add different you know like at what time this process was started this is added ha huh. at what was the duration of the processes that also we can uh, actually see here do we have some definition of the duration here uh, let's see here uh, i guess we don't have any duration let's select something as time zone okay so we will do something as time zone here okay and let's try to write time okay time zone in which time zone different processes were uh, uh, started now in time zone it should be i guess normal text we can take okay so time zone it will display at what time zone this uh, was started so something is like you can say asia some is uk like this time zone is di different time zones are there okay and uh, one more thing like whenever you create the new data this is not the only data this is not the only definition that we can do here there are much more than that so you just need to go in the functions tab you can go from here or you can actually go from here as well in the documentation as well we can go here okay so somewhere this process node properties are available here okay so process and process report data you can go and here you can see a lot of different functions are available on the process first of all you will see the basic definitions of them what the pp bank pm bank does okay and after that if we will see here uh, we will see task if you are creating a task based a report based on the tasks so you can take help of like tp bank id and all these things if you are creating task matrix some matrix are there like when the task is completed when it is started how much time it took to complete okay like this all these times are there but we are currently focusing on the process so process ha huh, something as process duration like what was the duration it is saying like elapsed time between start and completion time so something as this we can take here instead of this one let's map here uh here uh, duration duration and we can create our duration as well what was that duration so here we can go with uh, this function process duration okay fine process duration we will write it here now let's click on the process duration it will tell you the time so it is just time so we can choose the format something as number is fine i guess it will tell you like how much minutes or anything like this so let's see here see here this time is taken so if process is completed then only uh, you can say like the time will say like 5 second it has completed let's see some process which has taken a lot of time so there are some process which has taken 13 seconds some are 5 seconds like this processes you can say are not completed that is why their duration are not showing so this time with this way we can save over this and similarly we can add a lot more you know like a process like uh, what is the lag time uh, sub process id we can get extract a lot of information uh, from uh, this matrix process matrix once we are done with that then what we can do here is uh, we can create an in, uh, we can create an expression rule to show this data in our uh, you can say like uh, interface as well okay so uh, all process data something like this we can create okay let's try to create it 
and here in order to query see whenever we query any data for example a query entity we write so what we write query query entity we write it and we are able to query the data which is available in our database similarly if you want to query the record what we write query a record type this is used to query the record type similarly if we want to query our processor report okay so we have to write something as query process okay and analytics is there that's it nothing else and this the report so how to uh, configure the report uh, we can actually create a constant for this report okay or uh, okay so this report we can configure the constant or I guess this ID will also work okay so we can create the constant or we can create this one as well now now we can go and write our query so in the uh, query we can write the paging info like we just want to get all the data paging info one comma minus one and then just the dot data there and just click on this so you can see all the 258 items now we have got in our database so similarly you can see like uh, all the data we have got in our database oh sorry in the expression rule we have got all the data whatever it was there all the 258 items we are able to see so report id also works or we can go and create a constant of that report as well as a uh, when you will go and create the constant you have it has to be in the type of document and then you have to select ys all processes okay and here we can say like all process details something like this constant we can create it and we can refer that constant as well but it is also working fine fine once we are done with those things then we can go and create in the interface as well something okay so let's try to show all process we can show all the processes in the grid so that it is much easier uh, to uh, for the users as well to see all the details so let's take a grid filled here okay read only grid we have uh, read only grid we have taken and in that grid only we will try to refer our report so let's try to call our expression rule in order to call that expression rule we will create a local variable and here we will just try to call that rule here rule bank ys underscore all sorry sorry this is rule bank ys underscore all process data that's it and let's try to see and see here all the 258 items we are able to see in our interface okay ideally it's not you know like good to load such amount of data but fine uh, then what we will do here is in the data we will just refer that local bank where is the report this is the uh, report here the data is present you can see automatically it has taken the paging configuration as well first column we want to know like what was there in our first column it was the name of the processes so we can take something as grid column and we can give the okay label as a name so name of the process and the value so which pro which of these give us the name so try to match the names from here and here VOF refresh test data automatically it is taken so C0 is something which is giving me exact the name of the process so we can take the value as FV bank row just write FV bank row and see all this data will come here so we don't even have to look go back in here and match the data so C0 is something which is related to the name and let's see like this and automatically all the names are coming okay similarly we can show other data as well here okay instead of name what all things are there okay A status status is uh, first one is c1 so c1 it means that this status is completed okay and uh, other thing let's try how huh, when it was started start time so start time is something i guess c2 it is related to so S start time and it is related to something as C2 
and now automatically you will see if you want to format the start time like not something as GMT and all it should display just the simple date and time only so we can take something as DD okay MM okay YYY something like this like this it all these processes we are able to see now like this okay and then if you want the AM PM as well we can name that as well fine what all things we have huh. who has started this process initiator as well we can take it okay or huh. let's try to take one more grid column here and this time we will take something as initiator okay so initiator so initiator is which uh, column name it is saying okay so initiator is something it is community admin community admin is written what c3 so c3 is the column name for that one so let's try to take fv bang row dot c3 okay so you can see here automatically these are coming we just want the user you can say like first name only so we, we can configure that as well just the first name is fine okay similarly all the users and their only first name are now coming here so initiator is also huh? process duration like most of the processes uh, do not have any duration okay do we have anything else okay for number of tasks hmm. so uh, number of tasks you can say like how many tasks are active for this process that also we can add in our process report so let's try to add one more matrix here okay and in the data we will just go and map number of active tasks so this definition I have added here and active tasks and it will show the number so let's try to write the number here and let's see here so something is to some process so let's see okay some process is also having around seven tasks great so like this it is there so what we will do here is uh, fine so we have sorted it by name so let's try to so sort it like and uh, with number of tasks only we will sort it let's try to save our changes here okay and in our process report if we test it again we will get that data as well like uh, how many tasks so c6 is that number of tasks so c grid column is label is what number of tasks number of tasks and the value is what fv bang row dot c6 so in that we can also see like how many tasks are there let's try to test it once fine so you can see here how many so these are this is how we can configure the different uh, tasks report as well so what we have discussed like here we can configure the different things different components and even the definitions even the definitions which are not available directly in our for example we are configuring a process report we are configuring uh, you know like process based on process model only few details are available here in process property few details are available we can go in the documentation and we can search our process metrics there we will get much more data available there similarly we can go on the task matrix okay and there we can get more data related to the task as well and based on that we can configure the a task report okay so this is how we have configured our simple task report in our next we can also see like how we can cancel this particular task for example you can see like this task is seven task is active for that. it might be consuming a lot of memory so we can also create some actions here with the help of that we can cancel the task as well okay so that's all for now thank you